Hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. Today I want to show you how to paint daisies on a dark background for a greeting card. This is a very easy and fun painting that I think anyone can enjoy. I use a thick watercolor paper that I cut into a 5 by 7 inch card. You can do any size you like, but just make sure that it fits in the envelope that you have. For this painting, I use acrylic gouache, but you can also use acrylic paint or gouache if you like. I'm tapping around the border of the painting with washi tape so I can have a nice and clean edge around the painting. I use a reference photo from unplush.com. Uh, link will be in the video description if you need them. So here I have jet black and viridian green. I'm using a number 12 fieldwork brush to mix these two colors together to get a dark cool color. And this color is going to be for the background. Here you can see that the background is almost covered. But um, I want it uh, a little bit darker. So I'm going to add another layer on top. I'm using the same colors but uh, I'm adding more black to the mixture this time. And now it's uh, much darker. Just like uh, how I want it. So I'm gonna let this layer dry completely before I add another layer on top. Here I have deep green, viridian green, and white. I also switch to a number 8 round brush and I'm going to mix a medium green to sketch out the daisies. You can use a light color pencil to sketch if you prefer. I'm going to sketch 6 daisies and a few leaves for this painting. I forgot to mention that for the background, I wanted to have some texture from the brush strokes, but you can make it smooth if you prefer. I let the sketch dry completely uh, and now I'm mixing a light gray to paint the daisy. So now I'm gonna start with the flower on top and I'm gonna start from the center of the flower and I'm gonna use my ground brush to move it outward. So here you can see that I use my brush and I start from the middle of the flower. Then I drag it out and away from the middle with just one brush stroke. Most of the petals, you only need one brush stroke to fill, but you can play around and see what works best. I like to add the different thickness to each petal. I think that makes the daisy look more natural. For this flower, because it's kinda in the shadow, I'm going to add a little bit more black to my gray to make it uh, darker, just slightly darker. And I'm gonna add that gray on top of the lighter petals. So now I'm gonna finish the rest of the daisy with the first layer. So now that the first layer is already done, I'm going to make a darker gray and a little bit of green to add the shadow to the petals. So here I'm gonna add uh, the petals that are underneath. They are a bit darker.
here I have burnt umber, yellow, and white. And I'm gonna use these colors to paint the center of the flower. First, I'm gonna start with burnt sienna for the base layer. And I'm gonna paint the flower on top first. So I'm just gonna fill up the, the first layer with this color. Next, I'm gonna add yellow on top of the first layer while the paint is still wet. And I'm gonna blend the yellow in with the, the brown. And I'm gonna do this for the, the rest of the flowers. When I'm done with that, I'm gonna add more yellow to the middle of the flowers one more time. But this time, I'm not gonna blend it out. I wanna keep the bright yellow for the highlights. I'm adding highlights for the stem of the flowers with a light green. And then I add a darker green next to that color for the shadow of the stems. So now I'm using a medium green to paint the leaves. I recommend you sketch out the leaves before you paint. Uh, it would be much easier. I forgot to do that but next time I will. So here I'm adding a little bit of uh, burnt sienna to my green to make it a little bit warmer. And I want uh, to have different green on the leaves. So um, you're gonna see that I'm gonna add um, different colors. For this painting, I want it to have more like an illustrative style and uh, not realistic. So now I'm using white uh, straight out from the tube to paint the uh, highlights for the daisies. And I'm only add this color to some places on the daisy, as you can see here. So now I'm gonna use a darker gray to paint the shadow for the daisies. These are the parts that are in between the petals. So here I have burnt umber. And I'm gonna mix the two colors together to add the dark shadow for the middle of the daisies. So now I'm using black to draw the lines on the leaves. And 
and I'm mixing a, a different green to add to the leaves. I want to have some cool green and warm green on the leaves and I also want some darker green and lighter green. So for this greeting card painting, I want to add a flower quote on the side of the painting. Uh, you can add anything you like and I'm using just a, a small tip brush to write the letters also I want to use different green uh, for the letters so now I'm gonna add a few uh, small dots on top of the painting uh, these could be the stars or maybe fireflies at night. Uh, you can pretty much add anything you like here because these are just for decorating. So now I'm gonna add another leaf for the corner of the painting. I think this will help balance the uh, painting out a little bit. You can add anything you like and just have fun with it. Uh, anything that fit with the, uh, the letters that you add to the card. So now the painting is done, but I'm gonna wait for all the paint to dry before I remove all the washi tape around the borders. And I'm really happy with how this painting turned out. So I hope that this tutorial will inspire you to give this painting a try. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.